Okay, a lot of what we see with slicers is uh, the club tends to swing right across from out to in. Now, you've seen it a million times at your local club, you may even do it yourself, where the swing comes massively from outside to inside. And this is a common problem with slicers. So, what I've got here is a drill where I've actually put golf balls on the ground uh, to make out like a clock face. So, the ball on the target line is 12 o'clock and we're going to be swinging from 7 o'clock to 1 o'clock to try and get the feeling for swinging from inside to out. Uh, it'll make much more sense when you see the balls on the ground. Uh, but that's, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to learn to change the swing so that the hands and arms and the club are all swinging from the inside path to the outside. And you might find that the, the feeling is very extreme, but you need to make it quite extreme to make such a big change. Uh, when you actually go to hit the ball, it'll be nowhere near as extreme as you, you feel when you're making the practice swings. So I'm just going to demonstrate it now. And what I'll do is I'll make a practice swing um, of the, the bad swing, the, the out to in swing. I'll then make a practice swing of my feeling of swinging very much exaggeratedly from inside to out and then I'll actually go ahead and hit the ball where you see uh, that I don't actually swing as much from in to out as uh, I'm making in the practice swing. Oh.